as an acute care physician and as a frontline worker, the healthcare system is barely managing. More people are going to continue to get sick unnecessarily. Manitoba is easing some public health orders beginning next week, a step towards eliminating all COVID-19 restrictions. But some in the healthcare sector say that it's too early to begin the reopening plan. New public health orders will come into effect on February 8th. That after Premier Heather Stephenson said Wednesday that conditions are improving. But St. Boniface and Health Sciences Centre ICU specialist Dr. Eric Jacobson says that's not the case. This is not a political issue. This is obvious and this should be centred around what the healthcare system is able to do right now. And clearly, I think by all metrics, we are not coping. My big question is, where are the numbers? U of M professor Dr. Elisa Gerstein says it's a concern that the province is going ahead with this reopening plan, even though they aren't collecting the important data anymore. Dr. Gerstein is questioning whether the government is doing everything in its power to protect the health and safety of Manitobans. Why are, have our policies not been updated, given what we know about the current wave of the pandemic? So why is double vaccination still considered fully vaccinated when we know that boosters are more effective? Why are we still talking about cloth masks or surgical masks when we know that KN95s or N95 masks are better? There are still 736 Manitobans in hospital with COVID-19 and 54 patients in ICU with the virus. Dr. Brent Rusin said Wednesday that he believes the Omicron wave has peaked. On Thursday, the Manitoba NDPs and CUPE Local 204 President Debbie Boissonneau joined together discussing the reopening announcement. Boissonneau says frontline staff are exhausted. It is no secret that our members are overwhelmed, short-staffed, and are now being mandated to work overtime. Healthcare support workers are feeling neglected by this government. The PC government has not done enough for them. Dr. Jacobson says we can't rush into this. Let's just hold back a little bit more until we see that the staff that we've called upon to go to the nth degree to help out and the system is recovering. In Winnipeg, Alex Corbis, City News.